What's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today we are super excited to announce that LaunchBox 8.4 has been released. We do recognize that it has been a little while since the last update for LaunchBox. Now that doesn't mean it hasn't been being worked on. This went through a lot of revisions to get it here. There's some awesome new features, tons of improvements, and lots of fixes with this one. We're going to go over a few of the main fixes. Now, if you've been staying up to date with the LaunchBox releases, we are planning on phasing out the old LaunchBox interface. Now, this is getting one step closer. We are almost there to getting LaunchBox Next fully integrated and doing away with the old LaunchBox interface. What you see on screen now is the change log for 8.4. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. It's a lot of stuff in here. We're going to go over some of the major changes and improvements here. First up, platform playlist and platform category specific background music is now available in Big Box. Enable it in the Big Box sound options and place your music in the launch box, music, background, platforms, platform name, or if you're looking for specific music for a playlist, launch box, music, background, playlist, playlist name. You can also do the same with categories. Now we understand that a lot of people have been asking about this and it's finally here in Big Box. Personally, I need to go through and find some music for each one of these playlists, platforms, and categories. I got a few ideas and I will be showing that off in an upcoming video because I've been building the ultimate Big Box setup for my arcade cabinet. So if you read through this improvement list here, a lot of the stuff pertains to LaunchBox Next. A lot of people still haven't gone with LaunchBox Next, but that will change very shortly. It is stable now. I've been using it for a long time. I personally like it better than the old interface, and I have noticed it's a lot faster on my system. What I'm going to do now is just start up the old LaunchBox interface, and you're going to notice something a little different here. As soon as you start it up on the new 8.4 update, you will be prompted with this screen here. Welcome to LaunchBox 8.4. As of this release, LaunchBox Next is now feature complete, and we recommend that you use it instead of the original LaunchBox interface. LaunchBox Next is faster, more attractive, and just all around better experience, so give it a try. At the very bottom here, would you like to try LaunchBox Next? We have yes, no, stop prompting me, or always start up LaunchBox Next. If we choose Always Start Up LaunchBox Next, even if we click on the old LaunchBox icon, it will start up next for us. So I'm going to go ahead and Always Start Up LaunchBox Next. And we're now ready to use it. I'm just going to close it back down. I'm going to click on the old LaunchBox icon. It's going to load everything up, come up with LaunchBox Next for us. So here's LaunchBox Next. It is feature complete. You can use this as your daily driver. I'm just going to be going over some of the improvements with LaunchBox Next. They're all in the change log and the link for that is in the description. We now have full controller support in LaunchBox Next. Box image and cache optimizations and performance improvements have been implemented. Next now works with clear logo backgrounds if you want to use something like that. One of the cool new features I like about LaunchBox Next is the random color theme on startup. So if we go up here, we can use this drop down menu, or we can just go to tools, options, and we're going to scroll down here. We're going to find theme, features, use random color theme on startup. So I got mine checked here. I'm just going to close it down. I'm going to start it back up. So as you saw, it was purple. It's going to come up with something random now. I usually have all of my LaunchBox stuff set to blue, but I kind of like this randomness. And here we go. We went from purple to blue. Music playback has been implemented in a LaunchBox Next. So if you have a game that has some music um, associated with it, we'll go to, let's say, Super Nintendo. And I believe I have music for this one. started playing my music. Along with music playback in LaunchBox Next, we do have volume control here, so if you don't want your music playing too loud, you see up in the top left hand corner, we can go all the way down. 
There's a lot of improvements with LaunchBox Next that I just kind of skipped over in this video. Go ahead and check out that change log because a lot of stuff has changed here. We also have the ability to revert to OG LaunchBox. Now this option will not be here in LaunchBox 8.5 because we are doing away with the old LaunchBox interface and bringing in Next as the standard interface for LaunchBox. Now I kind of want to change pace and move over to Big Box real quick. I was browsing the forum downloads and I found a new theme by Mr. Retro Lust. Now this is Future State Neon Deluxe and it looks beautiful. So I've actually been using this theme here for the last few days on my arcade machine. I got a little bar top with a Skull Canyon uh, mini Intel PC running LaunchBox on it. This is the theme I went with. I just think the theme is really slick. If you notice over on the left hand side, when we move in and out of a game, it's got that little slide in on the clear logos. I really dig that. I know it's just a small aesthetic, but it does make a big difference in the long run. The theme itself is really easy to install. There's a few ways you can configure it. He does have instructions on the forum and I'm gonna leave a link to the download in the description. Now there's something else I kind of want to go over here. Over on the LaunchBox forum, Mr. Retro Lust, the same guy who created this theme here, is headed up a little group called the Arcade Cabinets Project Group. And the whole point of this project is to provide the community with great looking arcade cabinet images with transparent backgrounds. Now I've struggled for a very long time trying to find good high quality cabinet images for different projects, be it LaunchBox, thumbnails, or whatever I'm working on at the time. I think this needs a little more attention and that's why I kind of wanted to bring it up in this video. If you're interested in helping out, you can head over to the LaunchBox forum. I'll leave a link to this in the description. It's going to take some time to get this done. Now, as you can see, he already has the non-lettered arcade cabinets done, but he's got a lot more to work on. He does go over some of the guidelines that are required to get this up and running. Um, he also has a little example video if you want to follow along with this. If you're good with Photoshop, it'd be awesome if you could help this project out. So that's it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching, and we really hope you enjoyed LaunchBox 8.4. There's a lot of new stuff coming down the pipeline, and 8.5 is already being worked on, so keep an eye out for that. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below. And like always, thanks for watching.